So in this video we're going to show you how to display on screen damage overlay when the player gets hit. So we're going to go to the website and download the, uh, the image, load overlay image. And then we're going to extract the files. We're going to open the folder. Uh, and we're going to take this image. And then we're gonna, in our unity, we're gonna dra drag and drop the image. We're gonna click on it, and then change it to Sprite 2D, and then hit Apply. Then we're gonna go and create a new eye canva, and then inside it, we're gonna create an image. So we're gonna drag and drop the Sprite image. Here we're going to make sure it's uh, screen size uh, and then here we uh, I'm just scaling up the image so this is uh, what's gonna look like now we're going to create a cube then we're going to create a material for this cube then we're gonna duplicate the cube uh, control D and we're gonna duplicate the material uh, we're gonna make it uh, green so now this is gonna be uh, the damage zone uh, and this other cube is gonna be our save zone now we're going to click on them both and set is trigger to true. Now we're going to create a script. We're going to name it player health. Now uh, we're going to define two variables. We have public float uh, player health and public image uh, the health impact. I'm going to use unity engine.ui. And the start method, uh, we're gonna initialize player health to 100. Then now we're going to create a function. We're gonna name it uh, health damage impact. We're gonna have transparency variable. Here we are dividing the player health by 100 and then subtracting one. If the player health decreases, the transparency of the image increases. And then we initialize a new white color. Uh, then we set the alpha value of the image color to the transparency variable. And then here we assign the health impact color to the image color. Then we're gonna create another method, player taking damage. And inside it, we're gonna have a, a float parameter named damage. Inside the function, we're gonna check if the player health is greater than zero. Uh, if yes, then uh, we're gonna decrement the player health by the damage value. We can add a debug log saying that player is taking damage. And then we're gonna copy and paste the function. We're gonna rename it to player not taking damage. And we're gonna rename it to health. And then here we're gonna make it uh, less than 100. And here we're gonna increment. And then we're going to copy and paste the health parameter here. And we're going to say player is not taking damage. So this is the opposite. Now we're going to copy the health damage impact. I'm going to paste it in the update function. And now we're going to create a on trigger stay function. Uh, on trigger basically checks if the user triggered with the with objects that uh, have collider and we're gonna check if the game object name is equal to damage zone if yes we're gonna call the player taking damage and we're gonna have uh, 0 0.5 value for example uh, if the object name uh, is save zone then we're gonna call the player not taking damage uh, with the same value 0 0.5 in the player capsule, we're going to assign the script. 
and then we're gonna set to 100 the player health and we're gonna assign the image let's test it so when the player is triggering with the red box he is taking damage blood effect is appearing now if i went to the green box the health is increasing regenerating and the damage effect is uh, fading out.